I'm home alone. It just makes sense that I get COVID from like a 10 minute encounter. Why is it so thick though? Look, I have to shove that up my nose. Peel off the tape. Which tape? I can't smell that. No. I literally screamed when I saw it. I'm freaking out. Why am I scared of a mouse? Bitch, you don't have to be scared. Ah! Ah! Why would I do another 10 days? Um, I also got my results this morning on my whole degree. Ow. This is what isolation is like. I feel like I should film this because it's a monumental moment in history. Basically, I'm too ill to move, but like, that's a positive COVID test. I'm home alone in my uni house. Welcome to my COVID vlog. It's been a whole day, but I couldn't vlog because I didn't have any storage on my phone and I was too lazy to um, transfer to my laptop, but now I've done it. Basically, um, I've got COVID. I am home alone in my student house, so no one can look after me, but I'm doing okay. <coughs> hmm. I've been isolating since Friday because someone I know got COVID and then I live with two people and they left to go home. One of them has COVID, the other one doesn't. Basically, sorry, I'm like, honestly, one of the things that they say is like, if you start feeling confused, like call 111 or whatever. And I've just been like really bad at explaining things and I'm like, Am I like getting confused? Is this like a fever symptom? I don't know. And I'm just very tired, but um, yes, I was isolating since Friday. It's now Monday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Really thought I wasn't going to catch it. I was just isolating, you know, for precaution because I didn't really contact person who had covid that much like i literally spoke to them for like 15 minutes but they also stayed around in this house for a bit so i reckon maybe like am i covering the microphone maybe like touching surfaces probably set it off and also i've got a really bad immune system so it just makes sense that I get COVID from like a 10 minute encounter. Um, I really didn't think I was gonna get it. And then last night I felt a bit weird, but I was still convinced that I didn't have it. I was like, no, I'm just like freaking myself out. I just feel weird for no reason. So basically last night I just kind of felt a bit cold. My throat and like mouth was feeling a bit funny, but like, like it didn't hurt or anything. It just felt a bit ill. But I was still trying to convince myself that I didn't have it, you know, placebo effect. And then in the night, I just kept waking up because I was really cold and shivering. And then I woke up at like 5am and I was still feeling really ill. And I was like, ah, I'm going to take a test. And I took one of those home tests and here is the infamous test. It showed up straight away and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I'm touching this. It's a bit gross. There's probably, there's definitely COVID on there. But there's also COVID in my mouth, so can't escape it. Um, anyway, so yeah, I took that and then I messaged all my friends at like 5 a.m. Like, guys, I have COVID. Yes, yeah, so I wake up feeling very, very ill. Just with like a fever and just like generally feeling like crap. But I didn't have any other symptoms. Like my throat's fine. My nose is always runny. Cough. I don't really have a cough, but like every like hour, I like cough once. <sighs> you know, <coughs> like if I do that, I'll cough. But maybe it's just developing. I really hope it doesn't. Oh, and I also tested negative last night. Like when I was feeling ill last night, I did a test. I was negative. So these home tests aren't that good. So please don't rely on them. This person who I contacted, who I think I got COVID from, like we don't really know, but I assume they were testing negative the whole time up until they left. And then after I was not in contact with them anymore, then they tested positive. So it's like, I thought that if people test negative, even if they will get it, in a few days they're like there's not enough of it in their system to show up in the test and therefore not enough to transmit but that doesn't seem to be the case so like don't rely on the tests that much sorry this story is like all over the place so yeah this morning i woke up feeling really really ill and then a few hours into like being up i felt a lot better like i was walking around i was just like i need to like cook loads because if i get worse 
I'm home alone, like no one's here to cook for me. While I was still feeling okay, I made some soup. I also made some oven chicken. And then I had a nap by like three. Every time I have a nap, I feel worse afterwards. I think it's like my head, like I have a headache. So like sleeping too much just makes my headache worse. And then I got up and cooked some more and I felt better. And then now I feel worse again. So it's very cyclic. Cyclic? That word sick cyclical i don't know i've got these 12 bites that becca gave me before she left and i used them to test my smell it still smells like chocolate so i just really hope i don't lose my taste and smell because that would be more tragic than like the fever just wake up from a nap it's like 10 o'clock now i think i'm gonna get ready for bed soon but you know when you like have a fever you're asleep your brain is like really hyperactive and you just think of random crap like even when you don't have a fever it sometimes happens where you're just like your brain is making up random things and you're like kind of awake you're not like conscious but like you can remember like what you've been thinking about and then when you have a fever it's like your brain just thinks about random stuff and it's just so uncomfortable it's really hard to describe because it's just like very abstract thinking I don't know, like my brain was like trying to fit things together. It's really weird, like, I think I was like trying to count. I don't know, it's really weird, I can't even describe it, but I hate it. I might take some Lem Sip to calm my fever down because I hate, it makes me feel so uncomfortable, like, thinking about this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get ready to go to bed soon because it is 10 o'clock and go to bed. Uh, I hope you feel better tomorrow. Good morning. It is day two. This morning when I woke up, I felt quite, I felt a lot better than yesterday. And the longer I slept, I kind of felt worse. I had a weird taste in my mouth, which was great. And my tongue, my tongue was all like yellow. So I scraped it off. That was probably, probably why my, my tap always does that. It's probably why my mouth tasted weird. My nose has started to um, be a bit runny. I have started coughing a bit more today, which is not, fun but hopefully it doesn't get to the point where it keeps me up at night um i didn't really want to have any food so i've just got some strawberries with some yogurt nice refreshing breakfast so i didn't have to eat anything like thick and, and then i made myself a ginger lemon and a honey tea this morning my fever was day 7.7 .7, which was the same as yesterday anyway i'm gonna go and i'll update you when i do something i just got something through the post Got my COVID test. Oh gosh, there's so much. You know, I'd rather just do like a blood test. Like, I'd rather literally prick my finger than stick something up my nose. Why is this one so thick? That's not like the ones I'm used to. Why is it so thick though? Look at this one compared to... This is the one you get from the home tests. Look at this one. What the? You can't even see this one because it's so because it's so tiny look look i have to shove that up my nose you put this into there and like snap it off and put that into there with that and then put that bag into there and then put this back into the box and you like assemble this box thing and then you put the security seal on and then you ship it i'm stressed i don't know how to close this stupid thing what peel off the tape which tape Oh, I don't think it's that. Oh, I'm stressed. I don't understand what's going on. I just had to look up a YouTube video of how to close this thing. It says, peel off tape to expose the adhesive. You were meant to peel off the silver. How is this tape? You could have said silver. Why would you say peel off tape when I'm actually meant to peel off the silver? Close now. Stupares. Apparently this is confusing as well. like origami or something i need to watch that fucking video <laughs> okay so you're meant to fold these bits in and then this bit folds over there we go i figured it out so i'm just gonna wipey wipe everything yay now i gotta go post it i have to like leave the house uh, it's a bit scary like what if i infect someone this is my... Why did I sing that? <laughs> this is mine. I'm off to drop my COVID test off. Fit check. I'm cold. 
obviously gonna wear a mask but i'm kind of nervous like obviously i'm gonna stay away from everyone but kind of scary like i'm literally could kill someone like i'm a walking i'm a walking death trap i'm not gonna infect anyone obviously because i'm outside and i'm gonna avoid everyone like the plague um and i'm gonna wear a mask but still it's kind of scary it's only a six minute walk so it'll be fine i don't have to go anywhere it's just a little post box so it'd be nice to get some fresh air for once because i've been stuck in here for like four days now it just sucks that my isolation has to be like a whole two weeks just because i was isolating before i even got ill i'm back from my little trip that was quite nice i managed to not see a single human being i feel better but like now like my nose and cough is getting worse but my fever has gotten a bit better hopefully my immune system pulls through this is the most boring vlog ever i'm just like i'm okay i'm still ill i really want to order some paint by numbers i've been crocheting mm, look how many i have <laughs> just had a bit of a nap not really i don't think i even fell asleep i just posted on my instagram that i have covid now i'm getting messages <laughs> attention seeker <laughs> i've got so many people in my dms <laughs> why do i do this to myself like i don't want to reply to people i don't know why 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 i told everyone i have covid day three of covid please ignore how gross i look i do have covid i feel okay i think the fever's still down because of the tablet for some reason i really don't like I really don't feel like eating breakfast when I'm ill. I was washing my strawberries and I started feeling a bit like tired and like lightheaded and stuff. Probably because I was really hungry. And then I suddenly felt like I was going to throw up. So I went upstairs to the toilet, took a few deep breaths and I was fine. I decided I should probably have some proper food. So I cracked open my burrata. I'm just having some toast with burrata. I feel pretty much the same as yesterday. Not worse, which is good, but also not really better. So I also still have this weird rash. I ordered chow mein. Taste test. I honestly do think my taste is going a bit. <laughs> or is it just bland? Like, I don't know. No, like. I used to use this chocolate to, be, to see if I could still smell, but like I can't really smell it that, that well. I can't smell that. I mean, there's less chocolate in there now, but like also this candle. Not very strong. I can like slightly smell it. I think I actually have lost my smell. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, let me smell this uh, orange. I need something strong that I can smell. Okay, what do I know smells strong? Oh, this. No, this is this is the ultimate test. If this doesn't smell, I can smell. I can. St <laughs> I can still smell that. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. No, I can still smell that. I can still smell it, but it's just like not not very strong. I think I lost it. <laughs> no, I think I've lost my smell. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Damn it. What, does this mean I can't taste anymore? Like, did I just waste eight pounds then if I can't, if I can't taste it? I hate my life. There's a f There's a mouse in my cupboard. What do I do? I literally screamed when I saw it. Oh my God. My dad's like, oh, just open the door and just like let it go. How is it gonna do that? Oh, I'm freaking out, you little bitch. Why am I scared of a mouse? I don't know, but it's freaky. I don't want to see it. Hello, bitch. Ah! Hello. I fucking hate this. Why am I using a fucking noodle? Once in science class, 
making lunch and now what do i do my spaghetti i was meant to make spaghetti bolognese and now my spaghetti is mousified can't eat it now what am i meant to do <laughs> i'm so upset i'm actually so upset oh that was awful this is me trying to get the mouse out yeah, i hate it here i hate it i just don't want to be here anymore Sorry, Becca, for using your noodle to fight a mouse. What's that book called with George and Lenny? Didn't he always used to play with mice? How did he catch them? They're so fast. I realised that I didn't vlog for a few days. The first thing I vlog is the mouse. The update is I'm feeling better. I've not had a fever for a few days now. Cough never developed, which is good. I'm so grateful for that. My nose, as you can hear from my voice, is blocked. But it's not as bad as how it gets when I've got a cold. I haven't had to like spray my nose to unblock it or anything. I think my taste is fine. Apart from obviously it's hindered because I can't smell. I'm not gonna paint my numbers though. I spent so many hours on this, yet it looks like I've done nothing. Because the, the numbers are so tiny. My isolation's over in like three days, I think. I'm scared to go out. Food delivery is coming on Wednesday and I don't know where to put all my food because now I'm one cupboard down. That's the update. I basically feel well again apart from my nose being blocked. I'm on an NHS chat thing and this guy's like typing and then, then it ends and now he's, and he's typing again and Chris, my man Chris doesn't know what to say. Basically I'm asking. My isolation ends tomorrow but my tests are still coming up positive i have no symptoms apart from my nose is a bit blocked but my nose is always blocked so but my tests are still positive the home tests but it's been 10 days and i don't have any other symptoms okay so you can test positive for up to 90 days after the only reason you should get tested within this time is if you develop new symptoms oh okay so i actually changed my bed sheet so proud of myself and hoovered my room look at little henry over there so let me tell you about what happened with the um covid test people have been telling me that like they've been testing negative once they've recovered tomorrow is my last day of isolation what do i do if it's still positive the rules originally are like you can leave after 10 days as long as you don't have a fever for 48 hours before and I don't. I couldn't find anything online when I googled what do I do if I still have a positive test. I went on a like a live chat thing. It's like for Scotland. But I don't know why the UK doesn't have a live NHS chat thing. They told me that the tests can still show up positive up to 90 days. I still decided to call 111. And they told me that I need to get another PCR test. And if that's positive, then I have to isolate for 10 days. Anyway, I was like kind of annoyed because I was like, I'm not doing another 10 days just because I'm positive. Like I obviously was ill and now I've recovered. Why would I do another 10 days? So then they told me that if I have any more COVID questions, I should call 119 because they're the COVID line. So I called 119. She was like, oh, I'm going to need to go ask. But I was on hold for like 15 minutes waiting for this lady to tell me what to do. Clearly nobody knows what they're doing. And then she came back being like, yeah, you need to take another PCR test. But, but after that PCR test, if you isolate for 10 days, don't take another one. I was like, oh, but I, like, I've already obviously taken the PCR test when I got ill. So is that fine then? She's like, no, you need to take another one and then isolate for 10 more days. I was like, what the... 
I just said thank you, goodbye. I went on the Scottish NHS thing again to see if I can talk to someone else and see if they gave me a different answer. They said the exact same thing as the previous Scottish guy. They don't recommend doing another PCR test. And then I said that I just called 111 and 119 and they both told me that I should do another test and isolate. She basically said that that's wrong and it's like, oh well, we work for them. So like, I'm sorry, you've been misinformed. They explicitly said the PCR test might show up positive 90 days after you've had it. So I don't know why people are telling me that I need to do a PCR test again if it's positive and I have to isolate. Let's do isolation. I look so tired. Got a call this morning like I always do. <laughs> the NHS wake me up every morning. And they're like, so it's your last day of isolation. What are you going to do today? No, I'm kidding. Um... They just asked me about my symptoms and I was like, don't have that, don't have that, don't have that. And then I asked this guy about the positive test and I told him that two people on the phone have told me that I need to get a PCR test. But two people on live chat things told me that you can still be positive. And so he was like, oh yeah, you can still be positive, so don't worry about it. So I'm just going to take his word for it because he's my NHS, well he's not my... I get a different person call me every time, but like, if he's specifically calling about COVID, I trust him. Um, I also got my results this morning on my whole degree. <laughs> this is a COVID vlog, so I don't know if I should include my results in this. Maybe I'll do a whole nother video. I don't know why I would do another video about my results. What, what would the video even be? I don't know. I should have vlogged me opening them. That would have been... Missed out on crucial vlog content. Anyway, I got first, just whatever. I'm not a very high first, but I'll take it. I want to finish Breaking Bad tonight. Things are going down. I'm so shook. People died. Secrets came out from like, literally there was a secret that came out from like season one or two. And I was like, I can't believe I forgot this happened. Anyway, it's crazy. This vlog is so boring. I'm literally just like talking about random stuff the whole time. This is what isolation is like. I think the most interesting thing that's happened to me is that mouse. It wasn't funny in the moment, but watching it back, I'm just screaming the whole time and it's quite funny. I'm kind of getting my smell back. I've got this <laughs> I've got this perfume and i can kind of smell it maybe it's because it goes down in my throat and then i can taste it <laughs> so since i'm coming out of isolation i need to fix fix myself up now <laughs> ew i want to wax my leg <laughs> okay ready Ow. Okay. Anyway, see ya. I'm just here waiting for my as Asda to look. It said 8 till 9 p.m. And I'm like, 8 p.m. sharp, like, where is it? Every time I hear a car come, I'm like, Asda. So I didn't know how this was gonna work, but I was like, wait, do I need like bags? Um, <laughs> but they just like put crates in front of your door and then I just had to like, <laughs> Take it out and put it on my floor. Um, so, should I just give you a haul while I'm wiping? That might be easier, okay. I got some salsa and then some chips as well. Some double cream, some fish food. Fish food, anyway. Hummus. I bought some coleslaw. Don't ask me why. I really don't know why I was craving coleslaw, but here we are. I got some broccoli. I don't know why I thought I had already seen the chicken, but oh my gosh, this cheese is chunky. Strawberries, garlic bread that I'm going to make now. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I got two. They're salted caramel as well. Oh my god. It's salted caramel cheesecake. But I'm so excited for it. Oh my god. I'm also very excited about this. Basically, they're like frozen and you oven them. So I hope you can hear me over all this racket. Cinnamon swirls. Next up is mushroom. <laughs> Next up is mushrooms. Puff pastry, because I'm gonna make a pie. Yay. Next, Next up is my lightly salted tortilla chips. Next I got some tomatoes. Spaghetti, which I'm glad I got because the other spaghetti is... I couldn't use it because it was in the mouse cupboard. I've got a big bag of 
onions. Next, I got egg noodles. I actually don't remember what I was going to make, but next I got some oat milk, basmati white rice, nectarines, these are like one of my favourite fruits. Next up is four cans of chopped tomatoes. Okay, as well as salsa, I also got sour cream and chai dip. This is the most random shop ever, to be honest. Salmon, thimmits, I got some avocados, they're so hard. Ripe and ready, you're such a liar. And the very last thing I got was leeks. Right. Let's see if I can fit all this in my fridge. That's my haul. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna sort everything out now.